Dude, it was so sweet. We got a packed house. Bro, a lot of them were sitting there in the audience like, and I was like intimidated. <laughs> I was like, uh oh. <laughs> I was like, uh oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then we got the cheers, we got the love, and uh, it felt good, I gotta say. <laughs> Yes, San Diego! Woo! Yes. Next up, Michelle Rodriguez. I love it. <laughs> Reggae Jean Page. <laughs> fantastic jacket. He's wearing a fantastic jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Sophia Lillis. Yeah! And to round it off, Hugh Grant. Oh, wow. There's one game, like in high school, I thought to myself, like that should be played in every single high school or school across the nation. It should be, it should be D&D. Absolutely. <laughs> Because, I, because don't you think it's like, you can get the bully and the jock, and of course I only speak in John Hughes terms, right? <laughs> uh, you know, all in a room, and I guarantee you, in 20 minutes, no one will remember what kind of, you know, class they came from, or who their best friends are, and who the d dork is, and all that stuff. They just want to play and have a laugh. And that, I saw that so distinctly and so clearly, it became, um, I just thought it was such a great world and an energy that I wanted to put out into the world is to spread the, the gospel of D&D. Having like some real cool, you know, animatronics on set is really helpful. It just makes you really feel like you're part of what's going on and, and you get to see the artists, man, do their thing. It's beautiful. Mm. It's really cool. Yeah, it just brought back all these memories, you know, being a... A uh, kid in a basement uh, goofing off with my friends, you know. It's a, it's, it's a beautiful experience, and I think role-playing games are awesome, and I think more people Woo! should do them. <laughs> and she kicks ass in this movie. <laughs> Boy, that is true. <laughs> Literally just the best time you could possibly imagine in this job. I spent time training and slaying dragons, you know what I mean? Woo! That's what I got. I know a little something about escapist fantasy that gives you no limits, that gives you kind of this big open world of possibility that may not necessarily always be open to you in your real life, but is there the second you get a group of people together? And I find that in a slightly less inspiring way than our leader over here, kind of by the same thing. Um, I've always found role-playing games super inspiring in that way, so that's the way I came in. How nice to be here. How nice to be here at uh, <laughs> Comic-Con. Believe it or not, this is Yu's first Comic-Con. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And next year, we, we'll we did try to Yu's come dungeon. with um, sense and sensibility, but we were turned away. <laughs> <laughs> we can start with you. What, what class do you think that you would be if you were sucked into Dungeons and Dragons? The highest class. <laughs> Let's bring up one of the producers of the film, a filmmaker behind a handful of movies you may have heard of before. Iron Man, The Avengers, Guardians of the Galaxy, Spider-Man Homecoming. Give it up for Jeremy Latcham. Next. Please welcome the film's directing and screenwriting duo. They've written Horrible Bosses, Spider-Man Homecoming, and directed Game Night. 
Here's Jonathan Goldstein and John Francis Daly. I had been an avid player since I was 14 years old when I was an actor on the show Freaks and Geeks. And, uh, oh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks a lot. And uh, my character was a geek, and he was a, he was a huge fan of Dungeons and Dragons. I had known peripherally about it, so I, I decided, being the young method actor that I was, to, to play a campaign with the fellow cast members. And immediately I fell in love with the world. Because as you guys know, anyone who plays Dungeons and Dragons is not just a game. It is really the feeling that you get when you play the game. And that really is what we tried to, tried to do here with this film. That, that sense of camaraderie, family, coming together as a group, uh, uh, facing obstacles that you don't know what to expect. I mean, so many things that, you know, much to the chagrin of the DM, doesn't know what's gonna happen. And <laughs> so that is what we wanted to capture. And of course, that very unique brand of humor that I think sets us apart from anything else in the fantasy space. So it was, it was a real excitement for us. We have dozens of monsters and creatures in this movie, and uh, dozens and dozens of spells as well, if that interests anyone. Uh, and they are all true to the lore, and it was really fun kind of figuring out what would work best within the context of what we were watching. And we we um, worked at every step of the way with the Wizards of the Coast, um, who were an invaluable resource for us from before, you know, when we were writing the script all the way through production to try and make sure that what we were doing was in line with the lore. Um, so, you know, I think for hardcore fans, hopefully they'll see, you know, the, the reality of the game reflected in there. And for those who don't know the game very well, it's still going to work because it's a fun movie. For me, the thing that is, uh, the theme that I think always binds us when we watch a movie is this sense of family, of found family, of finding like this group of people and kind of connecting with them. And, and like, that's what makes Guardians, Guardians. That's what makes the Avengers, the Avengers. And I think you look at like these groups that come together and the personalities clash and they face a giant obstacle and then they have to kind of become a family over the course of it. I know it sounds like kind of, you know, but I'm a very emotional guy. So it, it, it is kind of just the thing I love the most. And what this journey has is really that, because these folks don't really all belong together, yeah. and, uh, and they've learned to love each other, and I feel like I've fallen completely in love with this cast along the way because of it, and it's really, really fun to watch. <laughs>